Dick Rochford. We're setting up the uh, M350 for cruise. We've leveled at 15,000 for a short flight from uh, Hayward, California to Reno. We've elected to run at 70 percent. It's my personal favorite. 29 and a half. 2400 RPM. And 21 and a half gallons of fuel. The nice thing about running it the same way every time is that you can write down your trend monitoring. Of course, if you leave the data card in the top slot on the MFD, uh, Garmin will capture a fair amount, a great amount, in fact, of uh, ECTM. But by writing it down, you have an analog uh, view of what you're doing, and uh, it may be a little more telling. Having said that, uh, the target here, and I, I know we're not going to run to temperature. We're going to run to a known power setting and observe temperatures. Cooler is not better. Temperature is a manifest manifestation of engine health. To that end, we should be observing the temperatures at a known power setting and verifying they're within spec. And of course they are. Uh, the spec that most engine experts uh, profess, and I am not an engine expert, but I do uh, talk to them and listen to them. Is uh, you should you know if you're running 70, 75 percent power, you should not be above at any altitude, flight level two five zero and below. You should not be above uh, 399 on the CHT. Generally, the hottest one is uh, number five, although that's a separate discussion. And the TIT should be uh, inside of 1600. And uh, those are different from the ones in the book, but those are well accepted by uh, all the engine experts on the Lycoming. This is, of course, uh, a Lycoming uh, engine. It's a 540. AE-2A, uh, developing 350 horsepower with twin turbochargers and intercoolers. Great engine. It's been in the fleet since the late 80s, and uh, we all love it. This is Dick Rochford. Fly safely. Train off it.